This short film will explain the role of Ludwig Mies van der Rohe in influencing modern design and futurism through his principle of less is more, and in turn demonstrate its influence on Tadao Ando, who has carried on Ludwig Mies's principle of less is more. Born in 1886 in Germany, Ludwig Mies van der Rohe was first educated in Aachen Cathedral School, and by 13 he began studying in a trade school in Aachen. Prior to 1921, Ludwig Mies continued to design buildings in a strictly conservative design, which ended when he submitted a design of his Friedrich Strasse skyscraper project. Over time, it became harder for Ludwig Mies to continue his practice in Germany. Being the last director of Bauhaus, he was forced to shut down the Bauhaus school in 1933 under Nazi pressure. He then immigrated to America in 1938 which he found to have more opportunities to work, on a far larger scale than he had in Germany. He died in 1969, but left behind significant works in relation to modern design, which had the characteristics of minimalism, which was pre presented by his quote of less is more. One of his best-known works is his 1929 German pavilion at the International Exposition in Barcelona. It was simplistic in design and was very geometric, with its form following function, as evident by how the roof is a mere rectangular slab, and how rather than windows, a sheet of rectangular glass replaces the row of the window. This demonstrates not only a rejection of traditional design, but in turn reflects modernism. The lack of ornate decoration on this structure in contrast to the other works in the expo would also further suggest modernity, given that the German pavilion followed a style that showed a new attitude towards the world. The design itself demonstrated modernization, as it's strictly geometric and lacked any semblance to traditional design, which suggested progress from an outdated design style to a new experimental style. Mises German pavilion utilizes steel, concrete, and glass, which were modern materials. For instance, the roof of the pavilion is made only of only a thin sheet of steel, covered by concrete. This helps to reinforce the structure of the roof, but also has the quality of machine aesthetic, given its simple rectangular form. The usage of glass also supports this, as rather than windows in walls, large sheets of glass are used in place, which makes this particular usage of glass as modern. Concerning modern technologies, the usage of steel in this design suggests that modern technologies have been used, given that the production of steel for the use in the German pavilion would, have, would need to be manufactured in factories with steel producing capabilities. As part of the German pavilion in the exposition, Mises has also included furniture of his own design, with that being the Barcelona chair, which was one of the few pieces of furniture inside it. The chair itself was made of chrome steel and leather. The usage of chrome steel in the chair demonstrated the usage of modern materials, and the sleek and clean finish of chrome would give the Barcelona chair a modern appearance. At the same time, this design expresses many modern design principles, such as functionality, given that its simple form allows for the user to rest comfortably in the chair. Truth to materials, as the steel used in supporting the chair is not hidden but left exposed, and anti-historicism as shown by the lack of decorative ornaments in the Barcelona chair. The chair utilized a modern material, steel, to act as the support of the chair, which demonstrated a rejection of outdated materials such as wood and in turn suggests anti-historicism. In terms of good design, the chair's form is relatively simple, but rather than being completely straight, the seat is curved slightly. This would have demonstrated functionality as the curve in the chair's form would allow for comfort which will promote the idea of good design through demonstrating comfort to the people. In terms of design for social change, the chair itself can be seen as very casual in appearance, given its curved form and truth to material via the exposed steel support. This would have shown the people a promotion of the idea that one did not need to subject themselves to outdated furniture. Born in Osaka in 1941, Tadao Ando did not begin his career of design immediately, and instead pursued a career in boxing and professional truck driving, he quickly quit these professions, however, and started apprenticing under a carpenter when he began his practice in 1969 in Osaka. Though Ando and Mayes had never met before, Ando had seen some of Mayes' architectural works during his visits and studies. This in turn inspired him to follow a similar style to Mayes being that of minimalism. One of Ando's works which demonstrates the influence of Mayes' works had on him would be his Church of Light. Constructed in 1989, out of reinforced concrete and wood. 
which served as the, the main materials, the design is simplistic, with the exterior being very geometric, evident by its rectangular structure, and the interior lacking ornate decoration. The church utilizes a simple structure of concrete walls, combined with the minimal use of glass, which allows for little light. This means that there was minimal amount of natural light. When combined with the plain features of the concrete walls, creates a quiet space of worship. This in turn creates a mortis style place of worship, which would link to Mises' concept of less is more. In terms of construction, Andal's Church of Light features similar principles to Mises' German pavilion, such as simplistic geometric structures and the usage of modern materials such as concrete and glass. In terms of design, for Andal's church lacks much of the traditional Christian ornaments, the glass cross in the center of the church's interior and relative darkness creates not only a quiet space, but also instantaneously compels people inside to engage in spiritual activities. In this case, the cross is present as absence because it is cut out of the wall. The lesson is more, in this case, is how it only takes minimal materials and simplistic design to immediately get the people inside to engage in religious activities, such as praying. Though Ludwig Mies van der Rohe and Tado Ando had never met even once, Mies' work demonstrates Smorda's design, but also projects his view that good design is simplistic, in turn, his works had also influenced Tado Ando by instilling Mises' value of less is more, where Ando's minimalistic designs are reflections of Mises' design style.